Hi, I'm Diane Southard, and this is your DNA News. Some big news out of MyHeritage DNA this morning. They have updated their theories of family relativity. Now, they only do this periodically, and they don't really give us any notice about when they're going to do it. So to be prepared, the best thing you can do is make sure your DNA sample is linked to your family tree. That makes it possible for MyHeritage to give you these theories of family relativity. So they reported that the number of, of updated total theories is 22%. There's also been a 22% increase in the number of matches that have a theory, but the total number of theories has increased by 21%. So overall, just maybe round to 20-ish percent updates across the board as far as who has uh, access to these theories and um, how many they see. There's also been a 7% increase in the number of total DNA kits that have theories. So if you didn't have one in the past, you may have one now if you're one of those lucky 7% increasers. So go out and check those, those, those theories. They're meant to help you figure out how you're related to your DNA match. So it's, it's like a fancy algorithm that they use to try to match up the family tree information in your tree with the family tree information of your match. And they tell you the, the path, they call it, by which you might be related. And oftentimes there's lots of paths or lots of ways that you might be related. So you need to review them all. So again, I call this a cheating tool, meaning you need to double check it absolutely before you go broadcasting to the world how you're related to this match. But it is a really powerful way to investigate your DNA matches. So head over to my heritage, log into your account and see what updates you have for your theories of family relativity. And then let us know what changed for you. And I'm Diane Southard, and this is your DNA News.